figured now since the end of the season I'll come on and do a little video of my trailer setup I made here and since I did make it myself I'm I'm pretty much a, a fucking expert when it comes to building trailers and I'm gonna act like it and uh, everyone who says otherwise is an idiot that's all I have to say <laughs> but anyway uh, start here with the trailer it's a five or a six by ten trailer I uh, bought it for 700 bucks off marketplace um, it did need a little TLC so that's why it was such a good price put about maybe $300 into it maybe a little bit less but it does have the 3,500 pound axle um, put a new uh, wheel and tire on that side actually no just new tire uh, replaced half the deck boards flip the other ones over um, sanded and grinded all the rust and put a rust inhibiting paint on it and then put bed liner on it um, worked pretty well I got my sign here it's uh, aluminum I think 0 0.068 inch aluminum I can't think of that in metric terms, but uh, got it wrapped. That was only 198 bucks. Try shopping local for signs like that. It, you'll probably have better luck finding them local. Um, hopefully that water isn't a pain in the ass for the audio. But uh, here I got uh, Tractor Supply Co. Uh, Liberty hose reel. It's it's been okay. It squeaks a lot. Um, sometimes here if this isn't loose or tight enough it gets loosened when you're unreeling or driving and uh, it will actually come undone and the whole reel, hose reel will topple and spew all over the driveway and you'll have no idea why you're running out of water when you're at a job. It's never happened to me before as you can tell but uh, I've just heard that happens to some people. Unlucky people. But anyway, um, I did some sort of MacGyver setup here for any of my accessories. I'll do that a little differently this coming year, but uh, it is what it is. Um, here I have a 55 gallon drum with a, um, all you can see is my pale pasted dry finger. I have a Hudson float valve there that comes off the hose reel. Um, it's plumbed with three quarter inch off of some barbs. It's a barb, three quarter inch. Um, this is just poly braid. You're really supposed to use non-collapsible and my ignorance I thought this was non-collapsible, but it's not So uh, any of the experts out there that tell you it is uh, They are not experts. That's what I found out, but um, obviously here It works. Well, I have a dump dump Drain here. I'll turn this off for now. Maybe my weak puny little hands can do it that was my left hand I tried first. Obviously, we both know why my left hand couldn't do it. Um, but my right hand successfully could, which is weird. Weird how that works. But anyway, we got one inch uniseal off uh, one inch uh, PVC for both the dump and for the uh, feed line or intake line. Um, I do have a belt drive, so it is drawing its own water supply. It's not gravity fed. Um, it is a five and a half gallon per minute. Uh, pressure Pro General Pump. Uh, it works well. I bought it second hand. The guy had upgraded his setup and uh, used it for half a season. And it's made me tons of money. And I paid it off probably uh, 50 times this season. So that's great. Uh, these, uh, they're a pain in the ass for storage here. Uh, they work. I actually, stupidly enough, mounted them to the trailer. Um, so get toolboxes and just do your setup a little differently but this setup's worked for me i will change some things next season but it has worked for me um i have a cox reel 150 foot reel um just spend a little bit more money and get one that's a little bit bigger capacity i uh bought this one thinking 150 foot would fit on it and if you aren't conjoining two uh 100 foot section a 50 foot section it will and it will with the two but it's a pain in the ass so just go a little bit bigger for the reel um, it has worked well but 150 foot is really maxing out as you can see here um, and then same here this has worked just fine this is 5 8 flexilla if you're going to get any hose there's no reason not to get flexilla just spend the extra money it's i had regular hose harbor freight hose actually contractor harbor freight hose last year and it was just i mean the cheapest I mean, if it was made in a sweatshop, they did a terrible job. Uh, I don't know where they make their hoses over there. Maybe Vietnam. But it was shit, so don't get it. Um, obviously, like I said, just rain barrel. Recommend if you're going to make this your buffer tank, get one with a removable lid. 
just search a little bit. You'll be able to find one. I found this one. I think it was 20 bucks off Marketplace. Um, you got my batch mix slash bleach tank, uh, 35 gallon. I have this for the occasion. I was thinking I might want to dilute it. Don't do that. Don't do what I did here. Uh, I'm still going to use this tank next year and actually use this hole. So it's not a big deal, but don't put that there. Um, I use that as a fill for the water. Don't do it. But this has been fine for me for my jobs. I've been roughly five or six jobs a week. So, um, it's, it's worked, it's worked for me for what I'm doing here. Um, this is a bit of a mess. It didn't look like this at the start of the year, but as the year has progressed, it's kind of, uh, transformed and, and, uh, kind of been made more convenient for me uh, as the years progressed um, let's see what else is there I don't think there's anything else I did put this ladder rack on don't one I've never once used this fucking ladder I bought on discount clearance I will use it this season gutter cleaning but it is just way overkill for what I'm doing here I I use a little giant that I keep actually in the bed of the truck here uh, this is done uh, all the work for me gutter cleaning last year and for any needs I've needed a little bit extra distance or to get on a roof for different uh, pitch points um, that has helped me out there drastically but uh, hopefully my monotone voice hasn't bored you too much so if you have any questions or anything since again I'm, a, I'm an expert when it comes to this shit you know I'm, a, I'm I've cleaned probably a hundred houses so I'm I'm an expert and I'm a big fucking deal and I'm probably gonna sell a course here soon um, telling you that I'm an expert and I'm going to make it really expensive. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Bye.